How's it going, Shane? This is Madi from Wisda Sports Media. How are you doing today? I'm good, man. Love the fit. First and foremost, this fight has been talked about by everyone ever since you've signed. Like we, We've been waiting to see like Shane Burgos versus Clay Collard, and for now, uh, for it to be happening. How does that make you feel? And I remember us speaking about it being a war in, in your mind. Yeah, I mean, this is the fight. I said it a bunch of times. This is the fight everybody wanted to see before I was even in this weight class. It's a fight I had my eyes on for a while. I'm ready for it. I'm excited for it. It's a, it's one of those matchups that um, it, it can't be boring. It's going to be a firefight from the first belt to the last belt, and I'm planning on doing doing everything in my power to get that to get this finish. My first PFL finish over a guy like Clay is going to mean the absolute world to me. And the fact that it's in New York too, man. Come on, MSG. And as we all know, I mean, the scenario that put you into the playoffs was a bit odd when it comes to uh, how the PFL uh, took it upon themselves. And we, we asked a bunch of the fighters after the, the Natan Schultz fight uh, last time out, and most fighters said the same thing. Uh, how do you feel about just the overall suspension of both fighters and what led to you coming into the playoffs and making that replacement? Yeah, so it's obviously, I'm going to make the absolute most out of this opportunity, first and foremost. Um, I, Technically, I'm not supposed to be here based off of the points, but I was granted this opportunity. I won my last fight. I gave it my, gave it my all, and um, I'm here, so I'm going to make the absolute most out of it. Uh, how I feel, I, I feel bad for the guys. Um, It's a shit position to be in, to have to fight your best friend. I've never been in that position before. Like, the, the guy, one of them is the other one's daughter's godfather. Like, I can't imagine being in that position, so I do feel for those guys, and especially them being suspended. Like, it's it's rough because this is how we provide for our family. So, so I do feel for those guys, but it's not my, I didn't, I didn't do anything to be, you know, like it, a lot of people get, are giving me backlash for that. And I'm like, guys, what do you want me to do? I, I didn't ask for it. Like had, had Yamoto, my last opponent beat my ass. You don't think the PFL would have did the same thing and gave him the opportunity. He'd be sitting here right now. If, if it wasn't, if it wasn't me winning the fight, you know what I mean, so I'm, I, I've been granted this opportunity. I won my last fight. I give my all. And all I can do is just make the absolute most out of it. Yeah, and touching on the the Yamato Nishikawa uh, fights, you both have fought in the Yamato this season. Uh, first and foremost, did you watch uh, Clay Collard's fight against them, and what did you make of it? Yeah, of course, it was a good fight. It was a fun fight. Uh, Yamato's tough. I, I know that from watching the fight, but then I also know that from being in there with them. Um, two different style of fights, though, if you judge the way my fight went with them and the way uh, Clay's fight went with them. Absolutely. And last but not least, you're in New York City, you're at home, but I've been asking everybody, what's the post-fight meal? Oh, man. I, I There's a bunch of bakeries over here, like some of the best bakeries in the world are in New York City. So I'm definitely, I already got some uh, some banana pudding waiting in, in my room for after, but I'm, I, I need I need like a fat piece of cheesecake. Not even a piece. I might just get the entire pie and just go crazy on that. <laughs> yeah, I saw the bagel spot in your Instagram story, so I think I'm going to hit that up next morning too. <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you so much, and good luck this Wednesday. See you then. Thank you, man. Thank you. Mills. What's going on, Hurricane Shane? MMA Locker okay. Room, part of Pop Sports Radio. How's it going, man? Oh, uh, good, man. I uh, see you big smiling right now, chewing the gum, so the vibes is definitely uh, in the right mind state. Uh, but let's talk about your opponent real quick. Um, Any comparisons to any of your past opponents that you fought that you could compare him to? One of maybe like Cub Swanson or anything like that? Uh, yeah, that, that's a good comparison. Cub Swanson, yeah, Cubs, Cubs is a lot shorter than him, though, so that's it's not a complete comparison, but the volume, is it's similar. Uh, the style is a little similar, just obviously the the height difference is is pretty big. But um, I got a lot of training partners that are like him that it, that you guys would be surprised at how, how good some of the guys I have on my team that aren't these big names. So uh, a lot of good training partners, a lot of good looks in, in the gym. A lot of good training partners over there at Tiger Schultzman, right? That's who you've uh, yes. been training with to get ready for this fight. Anybody fight. that's on the up and coming uh, out the gym that, you know, should get some notoriety or anybody that yeah, helped yeah, you yeah. train for this fight? For, for sure. My boy, my boy Rob Bravicchio, he's uh, 3-0. He's going to be 4-0 on September 1st. He's fighting CFFC. Um, one of my other guys, Alberto Borgwart, the dude has been amateur for so long. He's finally making his pro debut. He's a He's a beast, man. He's making his pro debut for Ring of Combat September 8th. Um, I got Bobby Casale. He's also, I think he's uh, got two or three pro fights. He just joined our team in January. He's another beast. So I got, got a bunch of up-and-comers on the team, honestly. 
Love it, man. I mean, you've been fighting for a decade now. Over the last 10 years, 16 wins, 4 losses. It's kind of like you don't really know how a loss feels. Um, So with that being said, I mean, how do you feel in this fight? You know, a lot of people are saying that, you know, they feel you shouldn't be here. And your opponent even said that, you know, earlier on today. Um, You know, he said that you shouldn't be here. So does that give you anything more out here to go out there and prove? Dude, I did, it, it's an opportunity. And I'm going to make the absolute most out of the opportunity. That that's that's all I can do. I can only I can only control what I can control. Any other shit that happens, like it's out of my control. I'm not going to put too much stock in that. I'm here. I'm ready to go. I've been training for this fight. This is the fight that everyone wants to see. Um, if you don't think I deserve it, I don't really give a fuck what anyone thinks. I really truly don't. I'm here. And the main event for the for a reason. This is this is the fight. This is this is the one. And I'm not just going out there just to show up and, and get a paycheck. I'm going out there to fucking win, cash my cash my ticket into that that million dollar final. I feel you on that, man. And sometimes, you know, that's what they just say about people. They don't deserve it. They said the same thing about somebody who fought over the weekend this week in the UFC. They said Sugar O'Malley didn't deserve the title shot, didn't fight anybody. didn't matter. He got the best of his opportunity and made the best of it. So it just shows, you know, when you get that opportunity, it's all about taking your moment and opportunity to shine. Seize the moment. Exactly. Very well said. I completely agree. All right, man. Best of luck, man. Can't wait to see the fight this Wednesday. All the eyes are going to be on you guys. It's not going to be on a Thursday or Friday night card. So, yeah, it's going to be definitely one of the best fights of the year. Thank you. Like You fucking well said. <laughs> All right. Aldrick, please bring us home. Okay, what it do, baby? What's up, bro? All right. Obviously, Outside noise, man. Talk to me about, you know, potential fight of the year that's going to go down between you and Clay Collard. He said he has the best hands. We've seen him fight. We've seen you fight. Talk to me. Um, we already know it's going to be a war. It's going to be a bloodbath. What you got? It's going to be a banger. That you got over him? <laughs> For the, from the first belt to the last belt, it's going to be a fucking banger. But I'm um, getting the finish in this one. There's no... No judges needed. And this is the... It's funny because now this... For this fight, we don't need to worry about points or anything like that. So the finish isn't pressed but I, that's what that's why i want it even more you know what i mean there's no uh pressure to get the finish but i'm putting that pressure on myself and i'm gonna go out there and i'm gonna have fun i'm gonna go back to the reason why i started this sport i fell in love with the sport because it was fun that's 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 why i got into it so I, I fell in love with it because i it looked fun i tried it it was fun and i and all my fights before i made it, to, made it to the big show were just fun and when i'm having fun i'm the best shane burgos in the world that's exactly what i plan on bringing wednesday night of course, you know, it's for not just for a title, but a million dollars. Talk to me like that, how that million dollars what can change your life, your family's life and everything like that. Yeah, I mean, it goes without saying who, who, I mean, that's, that's a lot of money. That's, that's obviously life-changing money. And I plan on being smart with my money. I'm smart with money. I plan on investing it and then making it generational wealth for my, for my family, my, my grandkids. So it means everything. I, I do this. I started this sport for me and I still do it for me because I do absolutely love it. I eat, sleep and breathe the sport. But now I have three kids. I have a wife. I have a family, and it's it's like this much for me now, and it's like this much for them. And um, to my to my other question, obviously, you know, you're here of you know the circumstance. Not going too much detail to it because you're not paying no uh, energy to it. Um, obviously, and then you have your friend in Solomon Renfro, your boy, um, who got presented a similar opportunity on short notice. Yeah, what is it for both of you guys to be in this big moment, and also? To punch your tickets to the one million dollars, and then to you know, potentially both bring titles back. Talk to me how that will mean to both of you guys. No oh, man, it'll be crazy. Obviously, I want I, I want to win. He obviously wants to win. But for us to both win that million dollars, to both get these wins, well, we we both just did it in Atlanta. He took a short notice fight in Atlanta. He won that fight. We both got the win. I'm going to do the same exact thing. Now we're in our home state. We're in New York. The stars are aligned for us to both to get these these big wins, punch our tickets to the finals, and then both come home with the belt that's a storybook ending man that's one of those things that like uh you can make a movie out of that shit right there so let's go do it solomon all right man best luck to you on wednesday thank you for your time thank you brother all right shane thank you so much for your time today appreciate you of course you'll just